Hello everyone, it's Economic Spy. I wanted to let you know um, tonight the main topic we'll talk about uh, in the AU and AG chat room by popular demand, by the way, uh, will be 90% silver coinage, the legal and illegal uh, imp implications of using it, and its intrinsic value of storing wealth fractionalized, or the bartering standpoint and the uh, legal legal impl implications of that. Um, this is going to be a very good topic, um, and I had uh, had a public offer for a uh, constructive debate uh, with a few individuals here on YouTube, um, and they had declined my offer. Um, you know, out of respect, I respect that. Um, I'm just not quite sure if, if they didn't have enough facts to back up their opinion or, or what it was. Um, but nevertheless, I respect that. Um, and uh, I just uh, felt that this is a very important topic because I'm seeing more and more people believing that they can use their 90% silver coinage um, to barter with if and when we, were, we would get to this point. Okay. Now, other countries have tried this, right? Um, now, Zimbabwe currently transacts in gold, right? Um, but their, their existing governmental laws are different from the United States. You cannot cross international regulations with domestic ones. It, you know, obviously, it's, it's very different in nature. Um, and uh, as, as easy as this topic sounds and seems to me, I'm sure it's very complex for other people that are getting into this and so forth, but uh, um, I urge you to come and check us out the AU and AG chat room tonight. We'll talk about this. Um, I'm just setting up my uh, uh, curriculum plan for tonight. Um, so I'm organized and, uh, and have a good presentation for us to talk about and, and have questions on uh, different things I would say or or different topics someone else would bring up during the conversation. Um, there's a uh, <clears throat> uh, popular belief, which I know at this point in time is a lot of propaganda uh, when it comes to this theory. Um, and this is not no longer my opinion. Just to let you know, um, I had such as previous videos I had stated, um, I had the only person I could get my answers two specific questions like this was uh, a guy, uh, Mr. White. He is a serving board of director on the United States Mint's panel. Okay, uh, I got my answers from him. Uh, I'm also I've gone online in many different uh, sites so far. Um, I've searched uh, 22 websites already pertaining to nominal face value, face value laws, um, different uh, coinage laws that are out there. Um, the stuff is already online, um, and we'll talk about a lot of the stuff that I'm uh, setting up a curriculum plan here for. Uh, not to support my theory. I want to make sure that when I tell you what I know to be true now on this subject, it's true. I'm not trying to tell you from my standpoint because I want you to believe. It's not about that. I want to get the right information out to people because there is just a whole lot of propaganda right now when it comes to using 90% silver in a barter terms and I'm not bashing 90% silver at all uh, from the standpoint that it fractionalizes your wealth that's very good because when silver prices get very high you're going to have to fractionalize your silver um, so from that standpoint it's an excellent tool um, all I'm simply saying and pointing out in the AU and AG chat room tonight um, by the way, if you want to get there, it's, it's very easy to find. Um, you go under my YouTube channel here. You go down to the section down here where it says profile. Below that, you'll see a link where it says website. And then you left click on that link. It'll take you right to the AU and AG chat room. Chances are, if you have not come to the Pal Talk yet, um, it's a fully interactive website. You can talk on mic for others to hear. You can type text. Um, so it, it's a very, very unique service, very fun service. Um, chances are you'll have to download the free PalTalk software. Um, 
it, sh it shouldn't take you very long to do. Uh, it depends on your connection speed for the internet. Um, but I urge you to come and check us out. Um, apparently, I have some good information that people don't want to debate on. Because uh, if they did, they would have come in the room uh, tonight. Um, so uh, I wanted to get the right information out there to all of you. Um, because I, I yet, uh, with my five hours and literally five hours searching on the internet for any laws, uh, provisions, uh, stipulations uh, of codes or whatever the case is. I have not found anything yet that authorizes uh, or debunks what Mr. Whitehead told me or uh, also uh, what a good friend of mine works. He owns his own law firm. I, I had also asked him these these questions. Uh, I called him at home because I, you know, I'm, I'm good friends with him. Uh, so I called him at home and I said, "Hey, uh, you know, so and so, could you please, you know, look some of this stuff up?" Yeah, yeah. He says, "We're just getting ready to cook out here." Uh, he says, uh, "Yo, go online and, and look up some of this stuff." He says, "I have a pretty good idea what I'm going to tell you, but I just want to make sure. I want to look at a couple different things." I said, "Okay." He called me back and, in, in fact, he did confirm what Mr. White had said, which is very important because Mr. White is a government agency. My friend is a personal friend of mine, and he's lawyer both agreed so that's quite quite obvious at that point in time that I have the right information so uh, we'll talk about that tonight in the AU and AG chat room come check us out um, so for now that's it for me uh, watch yourselves folks a lot of propaganda out there take care